Yeah, despite all of that, Rob, some folks tell me nothing really changes unless that name does. A controversial character has animated a range of arguments. Major League Baseball agreed to retire Chief Wahoo. Some want him buried. The faces are painted, they're wearing feathers. By 2019, we won't see the image on the field. You know, it's just delaying the inevitable. Philip Yenyo says it's racist. What do you say to the people who roll their eyes and shake their heads every single time this topic is brought up? I say educate yourself. He's executive director of American Indian Movement of Ohio. He says the toothy red face caricature is anything but harmless. I got the smiling face of racism smiling right back at me. You know, we're going to hear every excuse in the world. I couldn't get a ticket. Couldn't Jim Stamper it. shows up to games dressed out like this. Well, I was born and raised with Chief Wahoo. The team will continue selling the logo. The tug of war goes back decades. Feels like an old friend to me, you know. I, he may, I look at him, he makes me smile. How can that be bad? Yenyo believes the logo encourages folks to behave as bigots. We've had things yelled at us. Um, you know, go back where you came from. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think he's beautiful. By the way, Major League Baseball's commissioner did release a statement. Here goes. He says, quote, he wanted to promote diversity and inclusion in baseball and Chief, Chief Wahoo is not appropriate for on-the-field use anymore. Live in Cleveland, Frank Wiley, News 5.